Hello everyone, in this class we are going to learn how we can configure the Ether channel. Okay, how we can configure the Ether channel. So if you see here, I have this switch. I have here some switch. If you see here, I have one switch here, I have another switch. We are using the two link and one port is block. So what we will do, we will configure the Ether channel. So this both interface should work. Okay, so this both interface should work. So what we are going to do, we are going to configure the Ether channel. So let's see how we are going to configure the Ether channel. I will go to this switch one. Okay, I will go to the switch one and then we will do the Ether channel configuration. Here, let me go and let me do the configuration. I have a interface fast Ethernet 0 by 1 and 0 by 2. So what I am going to do here, I am going to configure the Ether channel. So you can configure the PAGP, you can use the LACP or you can use the on mode. So now in this lab, we are going to configure the PAGP. PAGP is nothing but we can say this is a Cisco proprietary. It will work only in the Cisco device. If you are using Juniper, then you cannot configure the PAGP. You need to use the LACP. So now we are using the Cisco device. So we are going to configure the LACP, not the... Uh, we can configure LACP and also PAGP in the Cisco. So I'm using the Cisco, I can do anything. So now in this lab, we are going to learn how we can configure the PAGP. So what I will do, I will go in the configuration and then I will select this interface because I have two interface fast Ethernet 0 by 1 and 0 by 2. So I'm going to use the command with the range. So I will write here, I will take this two interface. Then I will make this interface as a trunk. So I will write switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1Q. Then switch port mode trunk. With this command, we make this interface as a trunk. After that, what I will do, I will write here channel. Okay, channel protocol. After that, we will, if you have confusion, press question mark. Now we can configure LACP or PAGP. As we told, we are going to configure the PAGP. So we will write here PAGP. That we are going to write the channel. And here we can write group. You can give any group number here. This is a group number we can define from 1 to 48 so i will write here one then we will write mode we have two mode here we can use auto or desirable you should not use both auto okay so we can use auto or desirable if you remember when we are configuring the pagp we need to remember that one let me write here when you are configuring the pagp this side if you configure here auto Okay, this site if you configure auto here and here also you configure auto, so they will form the ether channel. If you configure here auto and here desirable, then also they are going to work as a, what we can say, they are going to work as a, no, let me correct here, see here, sorry, I wrote some incorrect thing here, let me write here what I am saying. If I write here auto, okay and here desirable then they will form the ether channel if i write here desirable and auto here they are going to form the ether channel if i am writing here desirable here also desirable here also desirable they are going to form the ether channel but if i am writing both the site auto here is auto and here is auto then they are not going to form the ether channel so in simple and short you need to remember we have two mode here I wrote mode, if I put question mark, you will see here, let me show you here, I will put the question mark here. So you can say, here when we are configuring the PAGP, you have auto and desirable, these two, auto and desirable. So when you configure the auto, both the side, then it is not going to form the, it is not going to form the ether channel. You need to configure one side auto, other side is desirable. If you configure both side desirable here, here, they will form the ether channel here auto here desirable it will work he, here desirable here auto it will work but when you configure both the side auto auto then it will not work okay so let's first do both the side auto and check it is working or not so i will do here auto okay now i done the auto so what i done here i done the ether channel configuration i use the mode as a auto in the switch one now i will go to the switch two I will go to the switch to here and then I am going to put that configuration. Here I will go and then I will go in the global configuration mode and then what I will do, I will go to this interface range fast Ethernet 0 by 1, 0 by 1 dash 2 and I will write here switch port 
ट्रंक इनकेप्सुलेशन डॉट वन क्यू स्विच पोर्ट मोर ट्रंक मोर ट्रंक दिस वन आई डन आफ्टर दैट वी विल राइट हियर चैनल चैनल प्रोटोकॉल चैनल आई विल राइट प्रोटोकॉल and which one we are configuring pa gp then i will write channel channel group any number i can give i will give one and mode i am writing auto both side i configure auto so it will not form the ether channel you need to remember one side we should configure auto other side should be desirable but both side i configure auto so now you can check it will not work okay so you can write show ether channel summary and you can see here we have the issue okay let me show you we have the issue here if you see you have capital s and d capital s means layer 2 and if you see d capital d means dawn so it is showing d and if you see here this two port we we make this bundle and we make this as a one so if you see individual port it is showing i what is the meaning of i if you see i means stand alone they did not become bundle so this all are stand alone and if you see i am using the protocol pagp so both the site i am using pagp but the issue is still they cannot form why because both site i put the mode auto that's why we have this issue if you write here show ether channel you have comments here show ether channel summary we check if i press show ether channel here we can see some configuration here let's see what we can figure out here this is a l2 and we have two port maximum eight we can add this one we can see and let me check the other command also show ether channel i will press question mark and if you see port channel and let me put question mark port channel so when i put here port channel what detail i am getting i am getting here that group number and the port what we created this is a protocol we are using pgp and security port security is disable here okay so this is the, the uh, detail we get but still if you check the show ether channel summary show ether channel summary it is not working because here auto here also auto so what you need to do one side you need to remove auto and you need to make as a desirable so what i will do i need to remove auto so i will put here i will go to the same command i will put i will go here i will write no okay and i will remove this then here instead of auto i will put here desirable okay i put the desirable now they will form the ether channel if you go the port go up here okay if you see the port go up it will say take some time then it will start working if you see here here also it go up okay and if you write here show ether channel summary you can see here you have su capital s means layer 2 this one and what is the meaning of u in use and protocol we are using pagp and here if you see p p is nothing but capital p this one is a capital p means in port channel so what we can say this is in the port channel now it is working and this is a port so if you are using this port as a trunk then you can log in you can write interface p0 okay p port 1 we wrote right i can copy this interface this p0 of 1 and i will write here no shirt and i will write switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q switch switch port mode trunk so i make this interface as a also trunk in the switch 1 here also i will go i will go under that interface i will write here interface what is that port we created here also we created same port so i will use same thing then i will write switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q switch port mode trunk okay so now this port we are calling what we can say show interface trunk we can see here show interface so now you can see this port is trunk okay this is a bundle of two port now you have the logical one port before you have the physical two port now it become logical one port so what we done here we done the ether channel okay we done the ether channel here 
we configure the ether channel so i mix two port we have the new port this one this is a physical logical port in this one you have the two port if you want to check or let me show you here show ether channel summary so if you see this port is a logical port and here you have this physical so we mix and we make one logical port by using the pagp and i configure this port as a trunk if you see here this port as a trunk and we are allowing this vlan 1 10 and 20 so i hope it is clear what commands i use if you want here see what i done first thing i make the interface as a trunk i selected the multiple interface i make as a trunk then i say channel protocol pagp then i say channel group 1 mode auto auto so you need to remember if you create auto auto both the side then it will not work you need to create one side auto other side is what we can say desirable in the pagp okay so thank you i hope you understand in case if you have any doubts let us know we are going to support you